Uh, I've got to ask you a, a, a question about Artie Lang. Uh, obviously, Artie's going through some really rough shit at the minute. So um, what do you he's think such, about Artie? He's such a good guy. He wrote, he wrote the forward. You just led me into a commercial. He wrote the forward to my book, and he also recorded the forward for the audio book. So I not only have him doing the forward of my book, but he did the forward for the audio version, he's such a nice guy. He was a fan of the Stern Show for so long. He said one day he came home and his father said, Artie, I just was listening to the funniest radio show I've heard in my life. And you're going to love this guy, Jackie Martling. He's out of his mind. And Artie became an instant fan. And then him and his friends used to come and see my show in New Jersey. And then he wound up on the show. <clears throat> and people say, oh, that's great. You guys get along. We were always friends. He came on the show nine months after I left. They had tried four or five or six different people. There was no crossover with me and him. We're friends. We've always been friends. He's been through, you know, he, he's trying so hard. I did his podcast a bunch of times. And he's just so good and just so funny. And he really wanted to do us to do shows together. But then he would wind up in rehab. Wind up, and that the last time, he was in really in rough shape. I think he owed them some money to some bad people. I think he got beat up and they gave him heroin with cut glass in it. And that's why his nose got all screwed up. Mm. But he, now he's in long-term rehab and knock on wood, I hope he's doing great. I, you know, I don't know who to ask and who not to ask, but uh, he has my full, my, my love and my support and everybody's, the whole world's been rooting for him for 10 or 20 years, but he, you know, that's why they call it dope, man. You know, it's got its hooks in him, and I, I just hope he pulls out of it, you know. What was your take on the... uh crazy. Uh, <laughs> You're a good man. 